Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your bonus reading for all the water signs out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the link, the Amazon link to my book that I personally wrote, Putting Back the Pieces. It's either in the description box and now the comment section pinned. So let's get into it here. We're going to start off first for the sign of Scorpio. Spirit, please show me what does the sign of Scorpio need to know here. I hear you. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So the Wheel of Fortune with the High Priest is major Akanas, both of them here. So definitely a tough lesson. I feel that somebody basically um, kind of, you know, gets in their head. I'm a triple Libra, I get that. Uh, but definitely I feel that they're kind of one of the unknown. They kind of convince themselves that this is never going to happen. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No. Uh, you, got, you do have the Three of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles. That's somebody being quiet towards you, okay? But there is going to be success again in regards to communication with that Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with their sign energy here, but there is going to be success in regards to them coming back and communicating. Like I said, with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they're quiet, but there's also going to be work being put in. I feel if you settle your thoughts more, okay, and start believing in Source more, all right, you can do that by meditating, manifesting, okay, just throwing it out there saying, you know what? I'm throwing it out there to you, Spirit Universe here. I'm going to put my faith. That's what it is. It's having the faith here. It's being Billy Joel, okay? Having the faith here in regards to this relationship. It is. All right. And that's what I have for Scorpio. Cancer. Whoopsie. Cancer. What does a sign of Cancer need to know? Could be dealing with a fire sign with that King of Wands here. Uh, they've been dilly dallying around. They've been tossing around in their eye, in their head, kind of thing, going back and forth. Do they love you? Yes, absolutely. Do they want to put the action? Absolutely, with that wand. All right. Fire sign does not have to be, but I feel that they've been taking their sweet old time with the Temperance. Could be dealing with more specifically Sagittarius here as well. But I definitely feel that there's going to be work being put into this and a new start. They are a little quiet. Let's clarify that. Because they're making me add the three plus the ace of pentacles. So they are kind of reserved with their, yeah, not no more. They're not going to be quiet anymore, okay? Uh, but I do feel that they need that they are coming back with that King of Wands looking at that sun. The sun is actually very positive. It's upbeat. It's actually known as the Yes card. So that is confirmed, okay? Do I feel that they're ready yet? No, not quite yet. Uh, I'm feeling for whomever this is meant for another month. There's some kind of significance to one here. Could be one week as well. When it's divinely guided like this, I just feel that it, there's no such thing as time. Well, you know, divinely guided or not. There's no such thing as time on the other side. That's just my personal belief. Pisces. Sorry. Okay. There's going to be some kind of change here with the death card, but Spirit's basically saying don't do it just yet. I'm feeling that there's going to be, that change is going to be some type of communication. Now, the Page of Swords is air. You have uh, Aries here. You got fire as well, okay? Uh, but I definitely feel that this person is going to communicate for naughty, spice and the rice reasons, okay? Get it on. All right. Uh, to start anew here with love. All right. Now, what's wild is, is that I asked spirit in my head. I said, which way? Because these two came out. Right. And they said this away. 
So that tells me is that, A, I feel that they're going to come back so strong, so out of the blue, it's going to make your mind spin. Uh, the wand is that sexual energy as well. So it's really going to topsy-turvy, okay, as well. Uh, I don't, I also feel with them, uh, you know, communicating and that seven of cups, that's still confusion. So I feel that they're kind of still in the head. I feel like they're looking for a good time, Pisces. Now, that's your thing. Go ahead. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just pre-warning. Okay. I'm just, I'm just here to disclaimer. Uh, but I, I do feel that they're really not ready for a strong relationship. Okay. Is what I'm feeling. All right. So, uh, to have this change, it, we all have free will, free choice. If you're into the spice and the rice, that's your option. You know what I mean? But if you want a, a real loving commitment here, uh, they're not ready, all right, is what that tells me. Wow, that was wild energy. And that's what I have for not just Pisces, but for all the water signs out there. Thank you all for joining, for watching. You guys rock. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.